Welcome to Time in the Shade and Shady Oak Ministries. Now, let's get to the news. Anti-Semitic activists have claimed that Hebrews have hated Christians throughout history and should be left to fight alone. Kind of like that one Hebrew that taught, In as far as you did not do these things to the least of these my brethren, you did not do them to me. I'm going to hell, aren't I? Yeah. Okay. That way. Matt Dillahunty has demonstrated in public debate that he is a deeply closeted homosexual man. For those who aren't familiar with the term, someone who is deeply closeted doesn't believe he's gay. He simply lacks a belief in his own heterosexuality. Ha! Gay! Islamic piety has been demonstrated throughout the years through a zabiba. A zabiba, for those who aren't aware, is a bruise on the forehead as a result of how often they slam their heads on the ground during prayer. And, as we all know, nothing says Islamic piety more than self-inflicted head trauma. I like this game. <laughs> Nick Fuentes has gathered a large following through his rhetoric and arguments regarding his hatred of the Hebrew people. Recently, he gathered the support of an angel of light who shares all of his views. What was his name again? Uh, oh yeah, Satan. <laughs> Chicago Mayor Brandon Johnson has called for a ceasefire in Israel. He is yet to comment about whether or not he wishes the same for his own city. What? Ilan Omar has charged Israel with war crimes. She has also accused the Israeli leadership of marrying their siblings. It's no fair. It's no fair. It's against the rules. Andrew Tate has recently cited Candace Owens in his interview with Piers Morgan. Quote, Blessed are the peacemakers. Which goes to prove my new theory. Andrew Tate is a silly goose. We do not fully understand what causes Alzheimer's disease. And that will be all. Thank you all for joining us. Good night and God bless.